We're gonna give you the four key concepts that's gonna help you with your strength training for tennis and we're gonna start right now. Now, when we're looking at tennis, there's a massive technical component involved, right? There's a ton of skill that goes into being a world-class tennis player. There's a ton of skill into actually serving. There's a ton of skill involved with returning volleys and setting up shots accordingly. There's a ton of strategy that goes into this, right? All of these things are aspects that have to be trained by a specific tennis coach. But if we can master all those things with a really good tennis coach, now we can take this individual, we can take a tennis player and start to really focus on the aspects that will in turn improve that technical skill. And this is where strength training for tennis comes into play. There's gonna be four key concepts that every tennis player is going to need if they wanna dominate on the court. We have to think about someone who's extremely explosive, extremely dominant. Think about Serena Williams, okay? Serena Williams is extremely explosive. One of the reasons why she totally dominated the sport of tennis is because of how powerful she was, how long she was able to hold that power, and how quickly she could react to her opponent's shots. Okay, these are all key concepts that we've gotta to start to think about. We have to look at how quickly she could make a hit and then understand how her opponent was going to react to that specific shot. That comes into a lot of the strength training work, a lot of the sports performance work that she was doing in the weight room. And that takes us right into that first key concept, which is going to be strength endurance, okay? If we're watching men play, we have five full sets, okay? Women will have three full sets. These games can last a very long time, especially if we're in the heat and there's a lot of pressure on running back and forth, there's a ton of fatigue that comes into play. So we need to improve endurance to make sure that the athlete is able to uphold their technique later on in the match. What can we do to improve overall endurance? We can do long, slow distance running. We can do long assault bike work, long rower work. We can get on the assault bike for 30 minutes and do that over an extended period of time. That can lead to a diminishment in other strength characteristics. Ideally, what I would recommend is doing sprint interval training, high intensity interval training, and getting into the sauna four to five days a week. That second key concept, and this is a concept that a lot of tennis coaches are totally missing the boat on, and that is going to be dynamic trunk control. Think about a quarterback. Let's say Patrick Mahomes, okay? Someone like Patrick Mahomes who's scrambling, okay? Scrambling, he's got a 300 pound defensive lineman tracking him down. Patty Mahomes plants here, throws across his body. He's able to hold that stability in his trunk, throw across his body and hit someone on a dime 30 yards downfield. That requires a ton of dynamic trunk control. That's where we start to see a separation between the elite and the mediocre, okay? So when we're looking at even a running back, running backs that can juke really well, they have tremendous dynamic trunk control. The same thing factors into sports like ice hockey, field hockey, tennis, okay? If we have an object, we need to have stability. And one of those key issues here is dynamic trunk control. Trunk control or core strength, dynamic core strength can lead to quieting of the excess noise. If we have quieting of the excess noise, now we have more stability in our shoulder girdle, and now we have more stability to then use our lever arm, use our tennis racket to hit specific shots. We are also able to track balls more effectively. We can also start to predict where that serve is going to be coming based off of how that arm swing is going to be. This all comes back to dynamic trunk control. So we need to do explosive movements with rapid deceleration. We need to do explosive movements with rapid rotation. We need to do anti-rotation movements. We need to do rotational movements focusing on our core, focusing on our dynamic trunk control that will lead to improving our overall coordination. Think about using a hydro weight. If we have a tennis player that can use a hydro weight, now they're gonna be doing advanced plyometric movements and forcing themselves to stop, just like the change of direction that we need to see with our specific tennis players. That third key concept is strength training for agility. A lot of strength coaches and a lot of tennis coaches out there neglect agility-based strength training. A lot of them think if we're just doing the ladder, we'll be okay. But they forget that doing things like single leg squats, slow eccentric single leg squats, Cossack squats, drop Cossack squats, side step ups, 
barbell step ups, walking lunges, all of these movements can lead to improvement in agility. We wanna focus on the quads. We wanna focus on our glutes. We wanna focus on our tibialis. Now, when we can hammer all these muscles and get them to be more coordinated, then when we're doing things like rapid plyometrics and we're doing things like dynamic trunk control, we can improve our overall agility. So now we're taking this individual who's a world-class technician on the court and we're getting them a little bit more muscular, a little bit more coordinated, a little bit faster we're improving their dynamic trunk control and now they can make better calculated shots because they are a physical specimen this is where strength training for agility comes into play so use the unilateral movements make sure you're focusing on power cleans hang cleans hang snatches dumbbell snatches trap bar jumps all of these different exercises to help you improve your overall agility and if you need help with this Click on the link down below, head over to peakstrength.app and you can pick up our app that's gonna help you have world-class strength training in your back pocket to help you conquer your opponents out on the tennis court. Now, that last key concept is something known as impulse, okay? Everybody always talks about power, but one of those key concepts, and this is gonna get more and more popular over the next 10 years, is impulse. And impulse is the amount of force that you can apply in a short period of time. Okay, with tennis, we have a very short period of time to apply a lot of force. So if we can use movements to improve our impulse output, now we can start to dominate our opponents. If I can apply more force in a short period of time, I'm likely going to dominate my opponent. If my opponent makes a little dink shot and I run full speed, plant, and hit another returning shot, okay, another little dinky shot, now I can get back in position because I'm a little bit more explosive and because I can apply more force in a shorter period of time. I can make that cut to come back into position and now start to read their torso. I can start to read their shoulder a little bit more ahead of them. That's the game of tennis. If you can be one or two steps ahead of your opponent, you are going to dominate them. So impulse-based training is gonna be focusing on plyometrics. It's gonna be focused on command-driven Olympic weightlifting. So doing power snatches with an auditory command, doing plyometrics with an auditory command, doing different agility movements with a specific cutting direction or with an unknown cutting direction, okay? So these are all different ways that we can train impulse. Impulse is about the amount of force that you can put out in a short period of time. That is that key concept. That's that missing link for strength training for tennis. So use these four key concepts to enhance your overall tennis play. You can take this, you can continue to develop this technical skill out on the court while also enhancing your physical body. And that's how you're gonna conquer all of your opponents. And remember, if you need help with your strength training, click on the link down below, head over to peakstrength.app and you can pick up your app today to get that world-class programming in your back pocket. Remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.